Tenor has been relieved of all charges and released from the New Bell Prison. A big shout out to him for his courage and his endurance. And we pray Erika's family finds a way to forgive him and we equally pray he forgives himself. Thank you so very much guys for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Ben. Hope you guys are ready for some real entertainment. I have a lot in store for you and without wasting any second, all of the beautiful minutes we're going to be spending here guys, let's get it started with the first segment of this program coming up right away guys go nowhere i'll be right back <music> wahala inside the biggie house Fish after clashing with Noni White last week, this week one of the contestants patients uh, threatened to leave the reality show after Fish spanked her ass. Oof. Patience took his action extremely personal, calling it sexual harassment, and even after her other fellow housemates pleaded with her to calm down, she did not listen. This is what she did, guys. Check this out. Women and their mood. This is the same patience few days ago before the incident, reading a book while enjoying some fish. Why her sudden attitude? Could it be jealousy after the dance showcase between Fish and Cintian? Or was it due to the pains she felt after Fish touched her ass? Did she actually feel something she did not want to feel after Fish spanked her ass? Or is she catching feelings for Fish and expressing it in an awkward manner? What? Anyway, they both got punished by the house captain who said they'll be cleaning the house for a couple of days. Chai patience. Even after Fish took out time to compose a song for you, you are still finding it very difficult to forgive him. Why now, mommy? Take him easy. And for you guys, if you're watching the Biggie 237 and putting in all your orgasms in it, you are on your own. Remember, it's a reality show. Make anger not kill you. Don't take anything there personal. After all, it's just a show, guys. Enjoy this. Eto as the next fake food president. Cameroonian and international soccer legend Samuel Eto is running in for the post of Faker Foot president. After playing his passion for many years, the three times Ballon d'Or deemed it necessary to give back to his country by heading its football institution. This comes after a long time mismanagement of this organization. His candidacy has been put into question because of his double nationality. Is it going to affect him? Or will he renounce to one of his nationalities just for this position? Anyway, guys, let's hear what some people have to say about his candidacy. C'est un Camerounais que nous avons tellement sollicité. C'est un Camerounais tellement engagé. Il a beaucoup fait pour le Cameroun et il devra continuer à refaire pour le Cameroun. Donc, donnant lui l'opportunité d'être président, il ne va pas nous décevoir. Cameroonian artist Mimi got it extra hot from fans after confessing on an Ivorian TV that she has been masturbating for a long time now and finds pleasure in doing it. Yeah, mm. check this out, guys. Moi, je mets pas trop l'accent dessus. Attendez, j'ai attendez, j'ai une université à Cameroun. Attendez, je finis. Je mets pas trop l'accent dessus. Bon, c'est important. Et vu que je suis dans un milieu un peu difficile, donc il faut choisir la personne avec qui. Tu te mettre bien. C'est pour ça que moi, je m'assure. Tu n'as rien dit, Non, je n'ai pas compris. Elle l'a mélangé. Non, mais je n'ai pas compris. Est-ce que tu peux répéter pour qu'on comprenne Moi, je me masturbe et je éprouve un réel plaisir à le faire. En attendant d'avoir l'homme parfait. Voilà. Est-ce qu'il n'y a pas besoin de se gaspiller avec quelqu'un Toi-même, tu te fais. Are these the kind of things a celebrity who has so many people looking up to her as a role model should be seen on a TV show? Anyway, Mr. Shine sent her a message and this is it, I quote. 
Mimi, I'm coming to save you. As soon as I finish my food, I am coming to quench the fire. The 2021 edition of Afrima is here and a lot of our Cameroonian artists got nominated. Can we put our hands together for that, please? <laughs> Afrima Award is one of the biggest African awards and this edition will be holding from November 19th to the 21st in Lagos, Nigeria. Here are the categories our Cameroonian artists got nominated in. Best Male Artist in African Inspirational Music, we have Mr. Elad featuring Cleo Gray with the song Salute. We have Tizi Pancha featuring Kamini and Stanley Eno with the song Ami. Breakout Artist of the Year, we have Abe Rogers with the song Nyama. For Best Female Artist in Central Africa, we have Blanche Fiery, we have Charlotte Defender, we have the Ayango Girls, we have Mimi, and we have Tinea. For Best Male in Central Africa, we have Loko with the song O Mariage de Mago. We have Salatia featuring Rothschild for the song Good Girl. For Best African Act in the Diaspora Female, we have Naomi Achu with the song Trust Me. Best African Act in the Diaspora Male, we have Taiki with the song Dimwa Koma. For Best African Rapper or Lyricist, we have Kosi with the song President de la République. Best Artist Duo or Group in African R&B Soul, we have Tinea with the song Dark Twisted Fantasy. For Best Artist Duo or Group in African Hip Hop, we have Kosi with the song President de la République. For Best Artist Duo or Group in African Contemporary, we have Loko and Salatiel. For Best Artist Duo or Group in African Jazz, we have Frank Dion. For Album of the Year, we have Taiki with the song Fleur Froide. For Best Artist Duo or Group in African Rock, we have Frank Dion. For Best Artist Duo or Group in African Tradition, we have Leonet Ayer. For Best Artist Duo or Group in African Pop, we have Lilo Ko. And for Best Female Artist in African Inspirational Music, we have Montez and Ruth Astor. Will Montez win this award for the second time? Guys, it can be possible if we all vote. Please make sure you vote all Cameroonian artists nominated in all the categories. Remember, if we vote, they win. If we don't vote, they won't win. So please, let's gather, let's vote. And for more details, you can visit the Afrima website to know how to vote your favorite artist. And let's bring the awards home. Welcome on our African showbiz scene, guys. Bob Risky and Tonto Dike have been fighting and dragging each other lately on social media. This came after Tonto Dike got a heartbreak from her ex lover, Pop Pogri. Bob Risky shaded her wildly, calling her names, but ended up apologizing, saying, and I quote, Tonto, I humiliated you here, so it's a must I come back here to apologize for calling you out. I honestly didn't know what came over me, but I later realized I was wrong. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Yes, I might have been there for you as friends. The truth is you were also there for me at some point of my life. Please find it in your heart to forgive me once more. We necessarily shouldn't be friends no more, but let me apologize for calling you out. To my fans and to Tonto fans, I am sorry. Many of you are disappointed at me. Please forgive me and I promise never to repeat this no more. On the other hand, American R&B artist R. Kelly has been sentenced to life imprisonment after being found guilty of sex traffic. 11 accusers consisting of 9 women and 2 men took the stand over the 6 weeks trial to narrate the sexual abuse he subjected them to. And after 2 days of deliberation, the jury found him guilty of all the charges pressed on him. But the artist, even after being sentenced, still insists on being innocent of all the charges pressed on him. He says, and I quote, My fans and supporters, I love you all and thank you all for the support. Today's verdict was disappointing and I will continue to prove my innocence and fight for my freedom. Says Robert Kelly, crooner of the hit song, I believe... I can fly. Guys, I'm speechless. And this is where we draw the curtains for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much for still watching. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Go nowhere, guys. I'll be right back. 
Welcome on our top 10 playlist, guys. Occupying the 10th position is this beautiful song from Cameroonian artist Miracle Pekin. The song is titled Vanity. Check this out. Popping up at the 9th position is this beautiful song titled Tom Cruise from Chi. Occupying the 8th position is the song titled Only Ensemble from artist Fresh Guy featuring Api and Avero Jess. Smashing our 7th position is this beautiful collab song titled Seducement from Dynasty Tigo featuring legendary Ben Deka. Popping up at the sixth position is this beautiful collab song from King Kum featuring Kosi titled Receive. Believe featuring Ivorian artist Aria Shene with their brand new collaboration titled Casanova occupies the fifth position. At the fourth position, we have this beautiful collab song from Yolanda featuring Tizi Panchak, and it is titled In My Heart. Magasco comes up at the third position with this beautiful brand new release titled African Woman. African Woman. Mr. Leo smashes our second position with this brand new release titled G featuring Nectar. Motherland is such a paradise. How long before we realize? Savannah and Sahara. Topping the first position on our playlist this episode is this beautiful song titled La Vida Loca from Renew. Watch and enjoy, guys. <laughs> That's all we have on our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. And this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Ming. Thank you so very much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about all the gist I just gave you here. And I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, make sure you follow us 237 Showbiz. We're on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. I'm very much active on our website too. Be part of us on Telegram, it's 237 Showbiz. Guys, I'll be right back next week with so much more. Do have a great week.